be tough to turn a book into the screen given the, the time restrictions and things mm. like that. So how did you go about adapting it, cutting it down? I mean, your books are very cinematic, really, in feel anyway, but how did you go about sort of making it a lot tougher? Well, I think, first of all, by deciding what are the big moments. You know, there are some big scenes which obviously have to be the heart of the, of the drama. You know, so first to say, okay, we've got these five or six big set-piece moments, you know, that the film has to move between. And then just to focus on the human story, just to say, whose story are we telling? You know, we're telling the story of this, these two boys and, the, and their families, and just to focus on that. So I think if you, uh, if you try and put everything of a 600-page novel on the screen, it's ridiculous. You can't do it. So you have to look for the, the heart of it, and the heart of it is that family story set against these, these larger, big public moments, you know, wars and dictatorships and things like that. But, but I think the film, I think, is very emotional, and I think the reason it works like that is because we did manage to focus so much on the human drama, you know, and I think in the end, that's what audiences are responding to, that they get gripped by um, the people, and then they don't, they don't spend their time worrying about how it compares to the book, you know, they're just watching the story of the people in the film. Films with 